My Hebrew brothers and sisters, the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth, let me say, welcome back. This is your Moray Yeshu Ben Uriah Israel, and we just want to take this moment to thank you for your subscriptions, thank you for your likes and your comments, and just thank you for your prayers, and we just pray that as we continue push towards our goal of reaching a thousand subscriptions and more so we can go live we can have more time you know to share you know in the back sorry need bible studies and you know we just to answer questions and and all that that you know a lot of our friends have and we just Pray that you know you will continue to encourage your friends and your loved ones that they will continue to subscribe and like and and we just just thank you thank you for everything you've done thank you so much thank you thank you you know um i was uh, reading an article the article was um, published, excuse me, by um, Biola University. And um, this was dealing with the, um, the, what do you call, the Anglo-Israelism and the British Israelism, my brothers and my sisters, some of the most ridiculous things I've read is in this article. Many years ago, many years ago, I, I, was, I was brought up in what you call a um, Hebrew Pentecostal type of um, organizations, uh, you know, uh, everywhere you, you look uh, in, the, in, the, in the buildings and some of the literature, and so you'll see they have the Megan sign, which Israel use now as, as um, the, the emblem, you know. And um, after after I learned about the Megan sign, I used to used, used to you know grumble and fuss with with, um, with them about about um, you know using that sign, you know, because uh, as, as I always tell say, we need to go back to the original, you know, go back to the original, and and. Um, and, and stop using that sign. Okay, anyway. But I remember one of the members used to subscribe to a magazine from the Worldwide Church of God by Armstrong, a man named Armstrong out of Los Angeles. And I remember you know, take a look at the magazine because the, the, she, you know, she and her husband, you, there's, like there's a sport, this magazine, and then I was pushed up in the face of the people, you know, and try to get people to subscribe to it. I was a, I, I was a young, 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 comes a young kid at the time, okay? And I said that that was outrageous, <laughs> you know, as I was a kid. But I was reading a lot, and I know, you know, based on what I've, I've, I learned at home, you know, what was considered correct, okay? And I'm not saying that they were teaching everything right in the church. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not saying that, okay? Even though they believe that they were Hebrew Israelites, there was stuff that they were saying and doing that was sometimes, you know, the stuff that I see the Gentile people doing all the time. 
But anyway, I, I, I learned about British Israelism and, and um, you know, but I never learned a whole lot about Anglo Israelism. But in this, in this article that I, I, I read that was published by Biola and um, distri distributed by the Jewish Department of the um, uh, Church of the Open Door. Church of the Open Door, okay? My brothers and my sisters, they claim that they are Israel. <laughs> They claim that they are the ten last tribes of Israel, and um, you know. So and they started saying, you know, British, the British people were the the, the, the ten last last tribes, and then so it went over to the United States. So, so one was supposed to be um, one tribe over there. There's a tribe of Dan, and they were supposed to be. Uh, so, um, Manasseh and Ephraim. <laughs> oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. And so, so you know, with this now, I, I realized, as I read, I remember the magazine that I've read that time, you know, um, because Ted Armstrong, whatever his name was, he, he passed away, you know, I think his son was taking over the church and so on. But I know that they believe because I read it in there. Because one of my contention was that if the lady think I believe in that then you know we being you know dark brown people was not a part of it. Then why would be trying to promote something that you're not a part of, you know? Why would you try to promote something that you're not a part of? You know, they, who, who, and they, they were racist against you. You know, because they, they believe that we were cursed, you know, as dark skinned people were <laughs> Oh my goodness. But, but let me tell you this. So I started thinking, I said, yes, this coincide with their belief. And let me say this, my brothers and sisters, because in, in the scripture, we were not, I, 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 the people in the Bible were not concerned about whether you were white or you were black. Because number one, they were black anyhow. So they didn't have to worry about, you know, uh, you know I asked to you know, feel uncomfortable using the word black, but you mean I'm talking about dark skinned people, right? And you know, it's generally referred to us as black, but we're dark grown people, right? But my brothers and my sisters, what I'm saying here is this that the people who were perpetrating the the um the idea of you know white above, black below. Uh, you know, the, the, this um, white supremacy type thing, you know, and, uh, and, 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 and uh, all this came about, it started right around the 15th century. Up until that time, nobody worried about racism until the British, the European people, took over and started traveling to Africa, traveling to the Caribbean. And, and South America and so on, and start pushing their teaching. And then, right up, you know, up on to the 17th century when slavery started, when they found that they can use um, our people, you know, to be servants and, and field workers, cheap labors, and doing things like that. And in order to, in order to, make their belief and their teaching right. They find scriptures to, um, you know, tell you and so make you feel that, okay, all right, Yeshua, the, the Jesus that they, per, per, you know, showing was white and God was white and everything was white. So you, you being black, 
Now, you don't understand the language and you don't understand the culture, then they force you to get involved and, and, and doing the things that they do and practicing and saying the things that they say and talk against your own self, my brothers and my sisters. So, so in this case now, there was no hope for us as a people. I mean, we were, we, we were don't write nasty, ugly, you know, you know, of no essential consequence, only to them, to serve them. But as, as things change, my brother, over the years, and we start understanding, I mean, we start learning English, because everything was in English then, you know, you start learning English, you start learning their language. And those who were in French and Spanish, and, and so we didn't know their language, you know, our ancestors, all they know was Hebrew and Aramaic, you know, and they didn't know French, they didn't know, you know, Spanish, they didn't know German, they didn't know that. So they, they took advantage. But when people start learning and learning languages and start learning to read and understanding, realizing now, say, look, the scripture that they have beating us over the head was our word that Yahuwah gave our ancestors. And they took it, and it just like the British Israelism and the Anglo Israelism claim themselves to be the, the last tribes of Israel. You know, they, 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 they are lying. They, you know, there's a, there, a matter of fact, there's a, there's a verse in, um, in, um, in, 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 in Revelation chapter 21, you know, where he speaks of, of them, he said, Yahweh is saying that no, by no means, none of those, I um, mean, verse 27, 21, 27, and there shall be in no wise enter in anything that defileth, neither whosoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb book of life. So we see here, brothers and sisters, that all of these lies and, 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 and there's also a passage that refer to those who claim that they're Jews and they're not. He said they are the synagogue of Satan. So my brothers and my sisters, if we don't read and understand, no, no I want, I, I would like for you to, to um, go online and go and read this, um, this uh, digital commons, digital, digital commons at Biola. Digital Commons at Biola. You'll find that article there. But it was written and sent out, and, and Lewis, Lewis, um, Lewis Talbot uh, has, has to do with, with this writing. Okay? Uh, and so distributed by the Jewish Department uh, and the Church of the um, Open Bible. Okay? And um, Daniel Rose, Daniel Rose is the director. Well, my brothers and my sisters, when you read this, you'll see how ridiculous people can be. How ridiculous people are, you know, when, when it comes to teaching something that is false, something that is not true. So... The thing about it is a lot of the lies I've been told, my brothers and my sisters, is that the European Christianities, right? They, 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 they invented a false messiah, one that does not exist, and they put a little scripture around it. But the, the, the messiah that Yeshua sent for the last sheep of the house of Israel was not the one that the Europeans as, as you, um, how, uh, and most of you go to, to many homes you find a picture of them of, um, a picture of them um, hung up inside it inside it and I, I told you I told you a little joke some years ago where I took a church over and they had this big picture of the European 
they call Jesus and I took it and put it in the backside. <laughs> People come asking for where is Jesus? I say it's in the back. But my brothers and my sisters, let me say this, that nobody gonna take our heritage. Nobody. Nobody gonna take our heritage because Yahoo already opened our eyes. And those of us who are awakened to the fact will continue to push for the truth and help our people to understand. So we're going to ask you today to be a blessing to someone and walk with the King. Shalom.